So we're in uh, gas power cycles. We've covered quite a bit of territory already. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about combined cycle power plants. This is an image of a combined cycle power plant. And it's really combining two cycles in order to make electricity. And so the first time I heard of what? Combined cycle? I didn't know what they were combining. But they're combining two cycles. Here's the, a closer view of a combined cycle plant. And this is what one would look like. What you have is uh, air intake. Usually these are pretty easy to distinguish. Here's a cutaway view of it. With the little filter inside, the air comes in, turns down, and it goes into a gas turbine. That's the air, fresh air, air intake into a gas turbine. Typically they run off natural gas as the fuel, but you can have a liquid-based uh, gas turbine as well. And the gas turbine is right in here, and the exhaust is going to go out that way. And the exhaust goes out that way. Uh, but over here in the color greenish, light green, is electric generator hooked right uh, tightly with that uh, shaft, output shaft of the gas turbine. And uh, the lines coming out here are for the electrical conduits. And then they're going to go to probably a step up, step uh, up transformer and then push it out to the grid and electrical network. But um, the exhaust gases are still hot, and so they go into something that's quite large, number of stories, I don't know how many feet tall, but uh, quite a large, and it's a very visible. Actually, the gas turbine is such a key component, but it's very small in the whole overall plant. It just fits in right down there. But here you have a lot of room for heat exchangers, and there's many of these heat exchangers that usually run up and down like that as the gas gets a little cooler as it moves through the system. Uh, so you, engineers have designed these heat exchangers. They also have gas uh, emissions treatment going on there inside. This is often given an acronym H, uh, Heat Recovery Steam Generator, Her HERSIG or something like that. Um, but they generate steam, they pipe it out so for this diagram, they have two gas turbines. They have two heat recovery steam generating units before the exhaust of each one. And then they have pipes running over for steam uh, to go to a uh, steam turbine. And then in the steam turbines hooked up to another electric generator. And then that electric generator can feed out into the grid as well. Uh, in the back, they have the mechanical draft cooling towers to reject waste heat from the cycle eventually to the atmosphere. Um, so that's a good little layout of the plant. I've never toured one. Maybe I should, you know, take the initiative and call some friends at CPS and get a tour because CPS has recently purchased a couple of them. Um, here are a number of videos. I'm not going to show them in the interest of time but they are very good videos and they uh, uh, are very illuminating because what you can do is they can take you through three-dimensional and cutaways and exploded views of the cycles. And if you're looking for high efficiency, these plants are the state of the art uh, for being very inexpensive to build and they can build them very quickly. That's one of the specialties of this type of plant not a whole lot of regulation compared to coal or compared to a nuclear plant and you can come online pretty quickly and so that they can get a thermal efficiencies over 50 percent which is incredible we have basically a gas cycle the Brayton cycle and the Rankin vapor power cycle combined so the gas, I'm trying to draw it here where you bring in air, you bring in fuel, you go through the compressor, then you go through the combustor. There could be reheat, there, you know, two stages of the combustor. You could have some additional enhancements, but basically you go through a gas turbine and then you're going to exhaust. But before you exhaust, you have a great heat exchanger. A lot of times they have heat uh, recovery. Uh, steam generation, that's an acronym that's out there. It's just a set of heat exchangers. A lot of times they, they make superheated steam, so they go through a pass and um, just like in a regular boiler, there's more than one pass through those uh, boilers or steam generators. 
here's a multiple choice question. In th this year, 2016, uh, blank is the most common type of new electric generating power plant being built in the United States. Are we building more coal? Are we building more natural gas, more nuclear, more biomass, more hydroelectric? You know, we're, we're building new natural gas. Here's another one. A combined cycle power plant is one that uses coal as the primary fuel source, natural gas as the primary fuel source, both coal and natural gas, wind and natural gas, or coal and wind. Hey, you're combining. There must be two things that get combined. But the combined cycle is two cycles, the Rankin and the Brayton. So basically the best answer is natural gas is the most common, not the exclusive only, but the most common fuel source for a combined cycle power plant.